So today we are still looking at Christian approaches to selected issues related to modern science, technology and the environment. And today we are going to look at the views on issues related to science and technology. So as a Christian, what is your view on various aspects or on various issues related to science and technology? And we are going to look about, uh, we are going to talk about, or uh, we are going to look at five issues related to the technology and how Christians should view them or what action should they take on those issues and what people understand about the same issue in our current life today. So we are going to look about, uh, to look at uh, ethnastia. We are going also to look at uh, blood transfusion. We are going also to look at organ transplant, genetic engineering, and plastic surgery. So, let us start with ethnasia. Ethnasia is easy and painless death. And we call it easy and painless death because it is, a simple, it is that help you give to a dying person. So you sympathize with the person who is dying, and you help them to do what? To die. And this ethnasia can be voluntary or it can be involuntary. It is voluntary if the person who is uh, who's sick has knowledge that you're going to kill them. That is voluntary. But if the person doesn't know, or the sick person doesn't know whether you're going to kill them, or you did not get the sick person's consent, that is involuntary. So, reasons for ethnasia. Why people say that uh, those who support ethnasia say they support ethnasia because of what reason? Number one is because human beings have a right to choose a dignified death. So every other person has the right to choose to die with dignity instead of uh, 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 dying unbearably. But I can give you an example of uh, if you have HIV AIDS and you don't drink the medication, oh sorry, you don't take the medication that is, you are supposed to take, you can find yourself very what? Very thin, yes? And it is not very pleasing to the high. So, and it is, to some people it can get to their, to feel like, like uh, they don't have that dignity. So they might choose a what? Ethnasia. Because uh, they, are, they are choosing a dignified death. Number two, it's because uh, another reason for ethnasia is it makes one experience love. If, if this person tells you they want to die and they tell you to help them and you help them, that is uh, those people who support the Nazis say it makes one experience love, that you, you, you care for them, you are not neglecting them. Number three, also another reason for the Nazis is because it supports the removal of useless members of the society. There are those people who are, maybe someone is sick, and, and uh, because of their sickness, they cannot, they can, they can't be able to, to perform their work. Others are sick and they are bedridden, so you have to, to maybe take care of them. You have to take them to the toilet, or if, even the others who are, uh, uh, they go to their what? They do all their what? Their defecation on the what? On where they are sleeping, so you have to take care of them every day. So these are bad somewhat members and people who support that they should be killed. That is, uh, ethnasia should be performed on them. They support it because they say these these members are what they are useless or they are bad some. That they are burden to their family members. Number four, um, it is wrong to leave family in poverty. That is why the, the people practice easy and painless death. Some of the diseases are very costly to maintain a person who is, has cancer. Especially, yes, cancer and um, when the kidney are failing, they are very expensive. 
and you sell everything of your family that this person can receive what you can uh, and uh, is it so you can make their life longer yes and you can make them comfortable so those who support them being easily or painlessly killed yeah they say that it is wrong to leave the family in poverty that all the the property that they have and all the money is used for this person instead of that they 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 offer what help for them to die painlessly the last reason for supporting ethnasia is because if individuals rather die than infect relatives so some people would rather die instead of uh, infecting relatives and this we are talking about diseases like what ebola it's what airborne so you uh, you 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 may request people to kill you before you infect your what? your family members <clears throat> from there we now look at the christian view on ethnasia so as a christians how should you view ethnasia or this easy and painless death or help that is given to a dying person to experience love and care number one it is morally wrong it is morally wrong because even if someone is uh, sick and they are in a coma we've seen that some people have uh, even recovered after a very long coma Coma is whereby you you are alive but you cannot be able to talk to talk yes you're just lying there so it is morally wrong number two number one it's uh, number two it is against god's commandment that you should not do what you shall not kill because it is murder so as christians we do not accept because it is against god's commandment you shall not kill Number three, we also believe that um, a suffering or a sick person cannot make the right decision. Thank you. So we believe that uh, a person who is in coma, remember those people cannot talk, or a suffering person, or a sick person cannot make the right what? The right de decision regard to his life. So um, they should not be what? Hoped to die. Number four. We are given our life by who? Or oh, God is the source of life. He, he only can, can take what? can take life so god alone can take life that is reason number four christians view on ethnasia or why christians are against ethnasia is because god alone can take life because he's the source of what of life number five it is against medical ethos when you are talking about ethos or the the the, the rules that guide medical personnel it demanded doctors and nurses to work for sustenance of life and uh, to alleviate what suffering not to terminate it so it is against medical ethos also uh, uh, as christians uh, we also we are against it because sickness can be healed we believe that all sickness can be healed So Jesus can heal, or God can heal all sicknesses. Also, Christians have the responsibility to care for the sick. So if you practice ethnasia, it removes that responsibility as a Christian to take care of the what? Of those who I need, to take care of the sick. And uh, last, uh, number eight, it discourages uh, medical research. Basic, in basic terms, it discourages research on vaccines or various diseases. It discourages medical research. <clears throat> 